So for today's quick tip, we're going to be replicating a feature found in old school drum machines. Now, if you're trying to get your drums to sound a bit more like those old school drum machines, maybe the Roland 909, for example, well, that machine has a very specific way that it handles hi-hats. And I'm going to show you a feature within Ableton that you might not know about, which will help you get that same effect. So I'm back again with another one of my quick tips. Every single day this month, a brand new quick tip. And today we're talking about a feature in old school drum machines, a way that they handle hi-hats and how we can replicate that same thing within Ableton. Now, this is a little feature that you might not have seen within the drum racks, but it's really, really handy and it's very hard to explain. So let's jump into Ableton and I'll show you exactly how it works. So to demo this, I've just got a very simple project. It's just a kick and a clap at the moment. And then I've got a blank MIDI channel on here and I'm going to put a drum rack on here. This is where we're going to start building up our hi-hats. Now I'm going to jump into my drum machines folder where I've got all the 909 sampled. Now what we're going to do is we're going to pick two hi-hat samples, an open hat and a closed hat. So now we've got the two hi-hat samples in there. Let's create a MIDI clip to put those notes in. So I'm going to put it over the four bars that we got within here. Next, I'll go into draw mode and I'll put the open hats in there first. I'm actually just going to copy these across could be a whole lot easier. Just duplicating them across. And next, let's put some closed hats in there as well. And then let's select those and duplicate those across as well. So now we've got a very basic open hat and closed hat pattern. very straight so far so let's put a bit of groove on it so I'll open up the grooves I'm going to jump into the MPC folder I'm going to find a MPC 16 preset maybe 63% maybe so it's definitely starting to sound like a drum pattern that would come out of a 909 especially with those 909 samples but one thing is that open hat just doesn't sound quite right. Doesn't sound like it would do coming out of a 909. That's because usually an open hat would then be muted by the next closed hat. So you'd hear the closed hat, closed hat, open hat, but the open hat would then be, would then be muted, would then be stopped by the next closed hat. Now, of course, we could edit this up a little bit and make these notes a little bit shorter, but I'm going to show you the actual technique that replicates the 909 feature itself. So what we're going to do is we're now going to jump back into the plugin settings, the drum rack settings. I'm going to open up the chain and we can see we got both of our hi-hats within here. Now, we can't really see this setting at the moment, but if I hit the I.O. button here, this will then give us the choke setting. And this is the key setting that we need to change in order to kind of replicate that old school 909 kind of sound. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select both of these samples here and I'm going to go to the choke setting. and I'm going to put them in the same choke group. So what is a choke group? Well, basically, it means when you group two or more sounds together, whatever plays last will mute whatever is playing. So if a closed hat plays, it will then mute or stop any open hat that is already playing. And this is the key setting that we need. So this is how it sounds now. And if I undo it, this is what it sounded like before. As you can see, it's a big difference and it sounds so much nicer. And it really is as simple as that. Just that one simple feature can really make things sound a whole lot more interesting and get towards that kind of old school drum machine kind of feel. And you can really play around with it, try different samples in different ways because those choke groups are a great way of kind of getting some really interesting sounds. So yeah, definitely play around with it. And if this video has been useful to you, then definitely subscribe to the channel. There's a new video coming every single day this month. So definitely subscribe, hit that notification icon so you're notified the moment it pops up online. And hopefully I'll see you again in the next video.